I cannot believe this. Look at that, that's the very first find I have. Hello everyone, I'm Swiss Colin Hunting and today I'm going to announce you something very special. This video will be the very first of the Swiss metal detecting series video. That's right, I finally got the permission and I'm allowed to go hunt in three separate village areas which are uh, way up a mountain so it's hard to reach but there are some trains that go there so I can still get with my bicycle to the train station and then go take the train and I'm going there without any effort so I can go spend all my energy hunting. I've got the Garrett Pro Pointer simply because it's the best and I thought I figured it's just why not go all out and just buy the best one and just for beginners the Garrett Ace 300 I know it's a really good machine I've tried it out myself right now and I'm really satisfied um, I have some experience now because I've checked my garden and so I learned the machine and now I'm going out hunting for the very first time so I'm really excited and I hope to find something really good for my collection as well so let's see what I can find and I'm going out to Oberdorf which is slightly above Solothurn and I'm planning to check a parking lot right around the funiculaire it's just a cable car that leads to the um, to a medical center I would call it a medical center but it's just a rehabilitation center Kurhaus on in German and well let's see what I can find there Another thing I wanted to mention is that I wanted to thank you all for subscribing because I've recently hit 100 subscribers and now I'm really at 135 so it's long overdue to do this. So this is also a special uh, 100 spe uh, subscriber special video and thank you all for the amazing support you've been getting lately. All the amazing comments and all the tips and tricks to improve my videos, especially coin roll hunting videos. They've improved very heavily during the last few episodes I've made and I cannot thank you enough. So I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you later. I cannot believe this. <laughs> Look at that. That's the very first find I have. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh yes. 1921. Oh my goodness, I'm crying right now. This is all what I wanted to do for such a long time. Oh damn, I have to check this gravel. If this is loaded with those, I'm stoked. Damn, oh my goodness. So far the best finds had all been on the surface and I found them just like this, looking at the ground. This is interesting, it definitely looks older. My, po my pocket is already filled with trash, so I'm going to go get rid of it. And then start cutting. Here's some more trash. A lunchbox someone forgot. A soda that's drank out. Much more tomorrow. Um, beer co uh, caps and pool tabs. Hidden under the pool tab, very deep. The button was a 1992 Sender button coin. I'm lucky and I'm hope, um, happy that I continued digging, or else I would have missed it. They just keep on coming. 2001, 20 Nice. There's more. Ten. Okay. Now what do we have here? What do we have here? Coins go. Nineteen 
2012. What do we have here? Oops. Neat. 2017? Yes, I think. Just has been recently dropped. Apparently. All right, so this object rang up in the range of 76. So, and it's five rappen. Oh, 2012, now 13. Well, not bad, it's the money after. So there you have it. Those are all the coins that I um, I can still spend. You see, I have around yeah, one franken and fifteen rappen worth of coins right here. I mean, this is just like a karambar or two, not much, but still some coins worth spending. So for the past two or three hours, I've been hunting this parking lot. And I found the really old coin right there around the white hour car parked in between the black cars. There's a bench and right in front of the bench there was the coin. This is the end of the very first video of metal detecting in Switzerland. And I hope you enjoyed it, at least I did. Because I finally found the very first coin in the ground that I could use in my collection. The 1927 Einrad. It's just amazing. And this little key tag I figured out, it's maybe for the luggage for the Kurhaus right up the Weissenstein. And I think it's really cool with the hand printed numbers and everything. So, well, that was amazing, just amazing. And I'm going out tomorrow again to try and this time go further than the parking lot because I just stuck to this parking lot because I found so much things there. I'm going, just ignoring the parking lot and going out in the forest beyond the parking lot. So definitely you, I will be uploading a new video tomorrow which we can all check out together because I'm stoked. If the first one hunt was very successful, maybe the second will yield some silver. So without further ado, I'm gonna end this video and I hope you really enjoyed it. And if you want really enjoyed it, you can leave a like, you can subscribe, you can comment, I will I respond to everyone accordingly. And our feedback is appreciated, especially on this video, because I'm really new at this. So let's finish this and see you in the next one. Bye!